I'm Mr. Richmond, and this is your Integrated Math 2, Unit 3.3 and 3.4 Lesson Summary. Um, this will be the end of, of Unit 3 for us uh, in the book. And in Unit 3.3 and 3.4, we're going to look at some special right triangles. Uh, right triangles have certain degree measures, and um, because of that, have certain uh, side length measures and ratios that we can memorize and learn. So the first triangle we're going to look at is a 45-45-90 triangle. Um, this is an isosceles triangle, which means two of the side lengths are going to be the same. Um, whenever you have angle measures in a triangle that are the same, it's going to make the same side length. So when I have a 45, 45 and a right angle, there's a certain relationship that exists that I can use as a shortcut to find side lengths quicker. Um, the rule is this, the length of the hypotenuse in a 45, 45, 90 triangle is root two times the length of the leg. And remember, root two is just a number. It's the square root of two. If you do it on your calculator, it's, it's somewhere between uh, one and two. Um, it's that amount times larger than the leg. And that can be confusing a lot of times seeing that, um, again, reading in words. Um, whenever you have these um, statements in math that are written in words and they're comparing something to something else, um, what I find is the easiest way is to identify what can be a variable, can be an unknown, that everything is based off of. And in this statement, um, all the other side lengths, or the hypotenuse in this case, is based off the length of the leg. And in a 45, 45, 90, since the two of the legs are the same length, it could really use either leg. So the hypotenuse is always opposite the right angle, which in this case would be here. And so if I know a, a leg length, I can find everything else. So I would say make the leg length x. So here's a leg. I'm going to call it x. Because it's a 45, 45, 90, the sides opposite the 45s have to be the same. So this is side length x. This is side length x. And my statement says the hypotenuse is root 2 times the length of the leg. If the length of the leg is x, then it's root 2 times x. But we tend to write it x times root 2. We always like to put the root on the right side so there's no confusion on where that is. So this really is the ratio I can memorize. x, x, x root 2. x, x, x root 2. x, x, x root 2 for 45, 45, 90. Now in a problem, for example, here, where I'm asked to find the missing side lengths, as long as I can identify something that's in that spot, I can find the numbers fairly quickly. So here I have a 45, 45, 90. I'm going to memorize my x, x, x root 2. x uh, then must be 10. So I can kind of almost write underneath that little x. So that side length 10 is x. And it's supposed to go x, x, x root 2, which means this missing side length n has to be the same. So I now know n is the same as the other leg, and is 10 inches. And m, my last side, my hypotenuse, again, you can identify the hypotenuse always by looking for the side opposite the right angle um, from 90 degrees, is supposed to be x root 2. And since x is 10, it's just 10 times root 2, or 10 root 2. And again, it's still a length, so it's in inches. And it can really be that simple to find these uh, missing side lengths when you can memorize the ratio. Okay. With that, let's move on to our other special triangle relationship. That is our 30, 60, 90 triangle theorem. It states that the length of the hypotenuse in a 30, 60, 90 triangle is two times the length of the shorter leg, and the length of the longer leg is root three times the length of the shorter leg. Again, a little confusing when you read it in words, so I'm going to give you a quick image to look at. And we're going to look at the fact that, okay, it's a 30, 60, 90, so it has to be in this ratio. Right angle, 90 degrees, 30, 60, so this is indeed a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Um, and it says that the um, hypotenuse is two times the length of the shorter leg. So I'm comparing the hypotenuse to the shorter leg. That tells me what to make the variable. And the length of the longer leg is root three times the length of the shorter leg. So both the other sides are being compared to the shorter leg. That helps you know what to make your variable. You always want to use what it's being compared to or based off of. So I'm going to make the shorter leg in a 30, 60, 90 always be x. Now, we learned from the first lesson that the shortest side of a triangle is the side opposite the smallest angle. So 30 is my smallest angle, which means the side opposite should be the shortest, shortest leg and therefore should be x. Then the longer leg is opposite the 60 degree angle, should be root 3 times the short leg, or root 3 times x, so x root 3. 
and the hypotenuse is 2 times the shorter leg. If the shorter leg is x, 2 times that would be 2x. And so I get that the relationship in a 36 and 90 is always um, in this ratio here. x, x root 3, 2x. 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 So restating it really can help you memorize. You just have to make sure you go in the right order and go opposite 30, opposite 60, opposite 90. So I'm going to use that now to find the missing side lengths in a given triangle. So again, I'm going to immediately recognize 30, 60, 90. Remember my ratio, x, x root 3, 2x, x, x root 3, 2x. And I'm going to start at the 30, go opposite it, and go this must be x. Okay. Opposite the 60 is next, which means this is x root 3. And then opposite the 90 is my last side, b, which means it's equivalent to 2x. So since x is 5 feet, a is x root 3 makes a 5 root 3, and it's in feet. And b is equivalent to 2x, x again is 5, 2 times 5 is 10. And just like that, I have my side lengths. Hopefully that, that helps you here with our last two sections in chapter 3. Um, I wish you the best. Good luck.